as far as uh, safety, uh, we get this question a lot. And, you know, I think we can all appreciate that skin is very different than something more invasive like um, colon surgery or, um, you know, uh, even an appendectomy where, where our appendix is inflamed and we have to have that removed uh, because skin is very readily accessible. But it's not without risk. We talked about a little bit about um, bleeding infection and, and um, you know, other types of complications. But at what age or uh, at what, um, you know, uh, point is it not worth treating the skin cancer? And that's, I think, a very difficult question to answer. And until recently, we didn't really have um, any evidence to uh, support or refute most surgery in people uh, who were at the polls of their age, for instance, you know, the elderly, uh, you know, age 75 and above, for instance, until we had a very good study done in the last few years um, that was looking at the functional status of individuals above the age of 75 uh, and trying to discern, you know, well, how well tolerated is most surgery? And the answer is, the, by, by and far, the majority of people who present for Mohs, um, if they're paying attention to their skin, if they, assuming they have good screening with their dermatologist or the general practitioner, most skin cancers that we see tend to be in early stages and small. And so the morbidity associated or the risk associated with um, in doing the procedure is very low and well tolerated. And this study that was done uh, supports that. And it specifically used something called the Kronofsky score that evaluates functional status. And so there's really no age that we say is inappropriate. If we had a crystal ball and someone said, at least for basal cell carcinoma, that, you know, uh, I, Doc, I might, I might die within six months then certainly that's uh, a conversation where um, the utility and the benefit of undergoing something like that um, is really up to the patient and their family. Um, but as far as uh, someone who is in their 90s or even, uh, you know, uh, I've, I've had patients in uh, 100 years old who are really, you know, bothered by this bleeding, ulcerated, painful lesion on their skin and who have, ultimately opted to go undergo the surgery and have tolerated it quite well. So we're really mostly concerned with functional status. If you're someone that can ambulate or move or walk or assisted or unassisted, doesn't matter as long as um, someone can understand what they're up against and you have a Mohs surgeon that's really providing good informed consent, that is the primary um, you know, consideration for proceeding with surgery.